100 days in GTA 5, but I'm spending them all in the hood. I feel like this in my mind today. I added realistic gangs, cars, and let's just say realistic gang violence. I only have two goals for the next 100 days. Goal number one, don't die. That means every decision I make needs to be a smart one. Goal number two, get out of the hood by purchasing the most expensive property in LA. However, that last goal was a little personal. You see, when I told my friend that just so happens to be a girl, if I could pull off this challenge, well, she said this. Okay, I just finished the script. 100 days in the hood, but I can't die and I have to get a million dollars. You think I can do it? 100 days? Yeah. On day one, I laid outside a very important apartment. This was the apartment in which I could join the gang. It's official! Now that I have my colors, I quickly realized that if I was going to survive the next 100 days and reach my ultimate goal, I was going to need to get a gun for protection, because this place is extraordinarily dangerous. I ended up meeting a cool guy named Jason, and he let me know a little secret. If you want a gun, just take it from another gang. Not sure if you heard that right, but I did. You see, there are multiple gangs in the city, but the main ones you're going to see are the Red Gang and the Blue Gang. Now, if you don't know the real names of these gangs in real life, then it's past your bedtime and you shouldn't be watching this video. Okay, I'm gonna take Jason's advice, and I am just gonna take down a rival gang member. Hello, sir. Please, could I have your gun? You happy? What the what hell? The won't lie, I was a little scared at first, but then I realized it's just a silly text message. Jason and I ran away from the cops in this rusted up car, parked it, and I dismissed him for the day. Well, it's safe to say I did not get a gun there. That's great. But in that moment, I had a genius idea. The best way to get a gun is to make money, honey. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I put that in the script. That was weird. Okay. I called a man named Quick J. Let's just say Quick J, well, he's the gang leader of the red side. The side that I'm on. He gave me a very important job. A job that all gang members do every single day. A dangerous job. I went shopping. Yeah, not, not that crazy. Now, in my mind, I'm assuming that this is just a test for crazier things to come, so they have to make sure that I can handle the simple stuff. So I did the job with a smile on my face, dropped off the groceries, and hey, I had enough for a gun. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, money in the account. I went into this store, and I met a guy who I'm gonna call Harold. He might have a real name, but I don't care. He looks yeah. like a Harold to me. And I got myself my first gun. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just this exact goal that I hit here does feel extraordinarily good, but I'm starting to notice just how far away my goal still is. But I didn't have time to think, because I was about to do something so dangerous that could end my journey already on day two. It's called a drive-by. Yeah, basically you drive by people and, well, you... Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is past your bedtime and you should probably click off this video. As you can tell, I am nervous because this is going to end one of two ways. Either I die or somehow I make it out and my entire outlook will be changed for the next 100 days. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Pretty simple, huh? Pretty easy. Here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, there's someone behind us. Oh my gosh. We're starting. We're starting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Keep driving. Keep driving. Maybe not from here. Now at 4.30, a weekend of gun violence in L.A. leaves several people injured. Including I took a few days off just trying to wrap my head around how I'm actually going to survive. If stuff like this happens every day, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get this video done. But on day 7, I realized that this is the hood. And I'm either going to embrace that or this video is going to end right now. So, I got to work. I saved some friends from a massive gang attack. Okay, that did not go as planned. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, get in. Get in, my friends. Get... What are we doing? What are we doing? Definitely did not leave that guy back there. I got some money and I started taking extra precaution by updating my armor and my weapons. On day 15, I took a ride with the homies on some bicycles. And let me just say, we didn't do some nice things. Give me your wallet, sir. I need your wallet. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Alright, gang. Let's go. We out of here. We gone. 
things changed on day 20 as I met a guy named Bruce. Hi Bruce. I had some stuff to sell and Bruce helped me out. I brought Bruce's car so we could go to the other side of the neighborhood and sell some of this stuff. All was going well until things took a turn. Da -de -da. Oh my gosh. Bruce. Bruce, it was the setup. Get out of here. Come on, Bruce, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, Bruce. Oh my goodness. Get away from him. Come on, Bruce. Oh my goodness. Come on, Bruce. I got you back. Oh my goodness. Get in, Bruce. Come on. I have no idea how you're still alive. Let's get out of here. Cops should handle the rest. I couldn't believe Bruce didn't die, but he didn't just risk his life for me. At that moment in time, I knew I had a friend. Subscribe. The next day, I took it upon myself to sell the rest of this stuff, and again, things started to feel a little bit normal, as normal as it could. I even decided to switch things up and head all the way to the beach. Turned out to be a great decision because business was booming there. Apparently these people on the beach really like this stuff. Man, I should have came here a long time ago. I would be lying to you if I told you I wasn't in a slight panic. After that message, I tried to conduct business as usual until... Okay, I, I, I don't know if they know where I am exactly. Oh my gosh, there they are. Oh my gosh. Okay, we prepared for this. Let's go! Everybody get away! I can't believe they followed me all the way here. Oh. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, my low I'm so low. Get away! Yes, send the police to the parkour department. They're shooting! They got guns! Please hurry! Okay, I think the cops are gonna solve the rest. I think I escaped. We will keep trying, you mother ducker. Oh my goodness. I might have dodged a bullet, literally, but I definitely wasn't in the clear. However, I was still making some money, some serious money. I was even looking to buy a car, and that house felt like it was a real possibility, sooner rather than later. I even decided to get some new ink. Now, now I'm fully in this. I'm looking good. However, yet again, I didn't have much time to think because my gang hideout was under attack. Get away! Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. And the cops are here. I'm gonna have to get out of here. I'm gonna have to take this truck. You're not gonna need that anymore, sir. Everybody, save yourself! Oh my gosh, it's so low. Oh my goodness. Official. I lost everything. My weapons, my money, all starting at zero again. Also, I guess I forgot to mention, you can go to prison if caught, and well, I'm definitely caught. I was able to get out on good behavior. I got picked up by the homies and I tried my best to start over and get back to where I was before I went off to prison. I had a classic gang brawl, I sold some more stuff, did a drive-by, but no matter how much I was grinding, a million dollars was going to be nearly impossible to reach if I didn't have any help. However, on day 70, I had an idea. You see, I'm running out of time, and the only way I'm gonna get money is if I pull off a heist. And what better way to do that than with the homies? So I put together a dream team. You all remember Bruce, the guy who 
Bruce saved my life? Well, we love Bruce. So actually, spam we love Bruce in the comments. I mean, come on, just do it. Then we have Rick. He works at Amazon. Cool guy. And then we have Jason. You remember him. The guy who couldn't get me a gun. But hey, he's here now, and he's still a cool guy. And lastly, me. Again, a cool guy. The plan was simple. Our main objective was to rob the jewelry store. And this is how it's gonna go. Set up sticky bombs around the outside of the jewelry store. Collect the jewels and head out to the airport. Grab a plane and be home free with the money. Should be simple. of the days I honestly just walked around and enjoyed myself, bought a couple cars, and lastly, I said goodbye to my fallen friends. 